Welcome back to the World Class Lubricants Maintenance Series. Today we'll be installing the Amsoil Oil Bypass Filtration Kit on a 2013 uh, Ram 2500 with the Cummins Turbo Diesel Engine. Okay, we've got all our uh, components together. We've got the bypass filter mount kit. I already got my return and supply oil fittings installed. The replacement oil cap. This is where the return oil goes back into the engine. Got the hoses and got our filter. Okay, as you can see, I've already moved the uh, air filter and the intake tube to the uh, turbo. Get down here to the oil filter. There's two fittings on the top. You can use either one. I'm using this one just because the uh, elbow that I have isn't enough clearance under this tube here for it to get on. So I'm going to use uh, some Teflon tape. And go ahead and install it. Okay, now that we got the uh, fitting on, the next step to do is install the fitting so that the hose will be able to attach to it. Now that the elbow fitting is installed on top of the factory oil filter, uh, the next step is to mount the filter base on the passenger side frame rail. Be sure to use uh, Teflon tape on all your threads to prevent leaks. Okay, first thing to mount the uh, bypass filter. I'm going to put the mount on, find a location, put mine on the passenger side frame rail. There's the transmission right there. It's just uh, basically just underneath the front of the uh, passenger side door. Find your spot, make sure you have enough clearance. Just putting the filter on the bottom, make sure you have enough clearance, uh, ground clearance. Uh, mark the holes and then drill out the holes. Okay, now we have the bypass filter mount attached to the uh, frame of the truck. Next step will be to run the hoses. I have installed the hose coming off the top of the factory oil filter. This hose will go to the in on the bypass filter mount. And the other hose attached to the modified oil fill cap uh, comes to the comes from the out on the bypass filter mount. And down on the bypass filter mount, I have attached the two hoses, the supply and the return. Uh, make sure you check the routing of the hoses, make sure it's not going to be against any anything hot, uh, such as the exhaust or the turbo, or also against any moving parts that will chafe uh, the hose and cause it to break and leak in the future. And also ensure that you use Teflon tape on all the threads. Next step will be to install the oil filter. This is the filter I'll be using for my bypass filter system. It's the EA BP100. This filter is recommended for uh, oil sump capacities up to 15 quarts. The new 6.7 liter Cummins uh, takes 12 quarts of oil. Ensure that you fill the filter with oil prior to installing it and simply screws on to the base. Okay, once you have the filter installed, the next step would be to start the truck, check for leaks, and you're done. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can check out full instructions on how to install a bypass filter on our website, www.worldclasslubricants.com. Thanks for watching.